Hey girls! In today's video, I'll be swatching all 8 shades of the Kylie Lip Kit. Each one includes a matte liquid lipstick and a lip liner. For the lipstick, it's in the round tube with a black cap, with Kylie's signature along its side. And this is how the wand looks like. We all know Kylie Jenner, right? So I guess it's quite obvious that her lipstick were so out that fast, like 10 to 15 minutes after being launched on the website. And everybody just went wild for these, including me of course. And I was lucky enough to be able to order all 8 sets at once. So let's see if these are really worth the hype or not. Normally I don't use lip liner at all, but since today we've got a kit right here, I guess I'll have to use both of them anyway. The scent is quite overwhelming at first, like a vanilla cake, which smells so, so good, but it will soon fade away after applying. You will need two to three dips in the tube to apply full lips, and try to apply as quick as possible because it dries really fast. Matte liquid lipstick can be a little bit tricky for newbies, so I recommend using a lip liner to prevent bleeding and create a more edgy and defined look for the lips. Then go ahead and layer with the liquid lipstick, just like coloring but way much easier. And all these lip liners from the lip kit are really soft tip. The color is super opaque and pigmented. I would say it's called pencil liner, but the tips are way much softer, creamier than a normal pencil. I love this color, but I have to say I cannot stand the crack on my lips as you can see now. As time passes, after around 4 hours, these cracks are getting bigger and bigger, especially when I smile. Coco K liner is the softest of all 8, so soft that it just freaks me out when applying because it can break apart at any time. And for the Coco K lipstick, which is a nude pink, it looks so stunning on other YouTubers who own healthy tan skin. As for me, since I have a brighter skin, this one peels my so much that it looks just like I've got ill or some kind of food poisoning. <laughs> Oh, another thing, the texture of the lipstick is not the same for all shades. I guess you could figure it out from the beginning of this video. Some can be uneven and bleed all over the place like this Cod K, as you can see here. Or the next one called Mary Jo K that you will see later on is the most obvious. Before grabbing these, I did watch many review videos, so I was quite confident about the formula. But it was the colors that I wasn't sure about, because I couldn't get a closer look at those. So really, if I could go back in time and order these again, I would never ever pick the Cod K one. It's just not right for me. The lipstick is not evenly distributed on the lips after drying out, although the cool undertone red is so stunning. I couldn't ignore the fact that it turns out so unevenly on my lips, and this is so frustrating. I mean, I've tried many cheaper drugstore matte liquid lipsticks, but none of them has any problem like this one, especially with the red shades. So this Mary Jo K is officially my very very first red liquid lipstick that goes to my blacklist. Of course, it's not that obvious when looking from far away, but still, I really did have high hopes for a $30 lip kit.
among all eight of these, Posey K and 22 are definitely my most favorite for the gorgeous texture and colors. Texture seems to be the most reasonable explanation for its bleeding, cause I'm quite sure that I apply all eight shades in the same way throughout my swatch. This Posey K looks really smooth and gorgeous on my lips, and it doesn't accentuate my fine lines like the first two, Candy K and Dolce K. I'm sure that this mauvey pink will flatter any kind of skin tones, though of course the color may turn out differently on each person. One thing I like about the formula is that it's very lightweight. You don't feel that heavy or thick feeling on your lips. The color is hard to remove and it won't stain if you're drinking. However, if we are talking about big meal, the color won't stay around too long. It will fade in the corner of my lips. This is definitely not my daily go-to shade, but I feel like coming back to the grunge in the 90s with this makeup look and today's outfit, just make sure you bring the lipstick along to touch up after eating. You don't want those messy brown lips, do you? So overall $30 for a lip liner and lipstick kit, I would say it's not that affordable but it's not so pricey because other matte liquid lipsticks are normally around that price range. But I'm only talking about those that have a better formula like the Posey K or 22 of course. For me, these are not the liquid lipstick that I'm pleased or truly love because it emphasizes the fine lines so much and also dehydrates the lips. The dry crack may appear even clearer after about 4-5 to five hours. Some shades turn out to be uneven and bleeding obviously. Not to mention that there are a whole lot of other cheaper dupes, like half or one third of its price. So you can check out some dupes that I've listed below in the description box. I've also heard that Kali did add just the formula, so hopefully it's not gonna be this bad. Well, it's time to say goodbye. I hope my swatch and review is helpful. Thank you so much for watching and i see you next time. Bye!